a great study came out very recently from Public Health, and it was looking at, the name of it was exercise, sorry, physical activity and long COVID, and looking at the fact that indeed those who exercise before COVID as well as during were 26 times less likely to develop long COVID. So you might be thinking, COVID's over, I missed it. I wasn't active before. I did get COVID, I'm not active now, you know, this is all yesterday's news. But it's not, because while we very much hope there's never another pandemic in our lifetime, um, there will be viruses. And really what's telling about this study is the fact that physical activity is very empowering to the immune system. And what they found in the individuals that were physically active is that there are symptoms um, of cough, of fatigue, neurological symptoms, all of these were much, much diminished in that active group. And they found, unfortunately, that the inactivity of Americans was in the like the 50 percentage range, range sedentary before COVID, going up to 72%, so increasing almost 50% um, during COVID. So the moral of this story is that physical activity is very, very good for you. It's good for your metabolism. It's good for your immune system. It's good for your self-esteem. It's good for your mental health. It's very, very healthy, very stabilizing, and has amazing effects on your overall health to be physically active. Um, we suspected this, we you know, kind of saw it in our patients, but this study was uh, very revelatory as far as substantiating and looking at a group. And I mean, it was mostly women. There were 237 participants. It wasn't huge, um, but it very much reinforced what we do know about the power of exercise. So what can you do? Um, again, viruses are here. They're not going anywhere. There's going to be another one. There's going to be more flus, etc. So you will do much better if you are in the physically active range. Now, there's so much you can do at home. If you're not somebody who wants a gym membership or doesn't have something like that close to home, you know, there's we've had a lot of excuses over the years. I don't like going to the gym. It's too far away. I don't have time. Um, with the advent of our smartphones and all the wonderful apps, it is, you don't have any excuses anymore. You can do everything at home with some resistance bands, with some very light free weights. Uh, you can do a great workout just at home on your own with assistance from some really brilliant people online. And um, I think I've shared Heather Robertson before in earlier videos. I don't know her personally. I just found her online and she has a nice range of things. But you just want to find somebody who, who suits you. And they there are a plethora of them online. So really make it a point and do it with your family. If you have children, you would be doing them such a great service to get them into the active mode of life. Because unfortunately, children that are on the couch and not getting physical activity, those sedentary children turn into obese, sedentary, unhealthy adults. Unfortunately, that's the stat. So let's not do that. Let's turn it around and Start finding some things you enjoy doing. Uh, if you can do it with a friend, you can do it with your kids, or even if you're all by yourself, you can do some great videos online and um, get yourself active and really turn back the clock on how healthy you are, how healthy your immune system is, and, and really get empowered to fight off the next little virus that's coming our way. Um, if your health is not the way you want it to be, if you are struggling with your immune system, if you're indeed struggling with long COVID, please reach out. That's what we're here for. We'd be delighted to help. I'll see you soon. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want more on this topic and others, click here.